1985, the Ducks against San Diego State, Jack Murphy Stadium. The Ducks and the Aztecs in a wild ball game. Chris Miller throws four touchdown passes, runs for another as the Ducks defeat the Aztecs 49-37. 1987, Hudson Stadium, Ducks trail 20-16 at halftime. But come on in the second half and go ahead 25-20. The victory is preserved on a controversial last-minute fumble by Todd Santos as the Ducks go on to win at the final score 25-20. to Tonight, game three of a four-game series between the Ducks and the Aztecs. Hello again, everybody. I'm Todd McKim, along with former Duck wide receiver Greg Mosier. Welcome back to Jack Murphy Stadium for what we feel will be an entertaining contest. This the first of two on the Oregon Sports Network this year. The Ducks come in with a record of 3-0. They are ranked among the nation's top 20 in a couple of the different polls. The Aztecs are 1-2, and two, but Greg, that may be a little bit misleading because this is a very good ball club that has a lot of offense. Yes, sir. With the tradition of the skilled people that San Diego State has, they've got the tremendous speed on the outside, both on the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side of the ball. Their weaknesses would be in the line of scrimmage, but anytime you've got the ability to make that big play, you're going to be in the game no matter what the score. Obviously, the Ducks, as many of you people are well aware, have had some injuries and some misfortune this past week. First of all, at the quarterback position, Bill Musgrave out for this game, although he has dressed and is on the trip. And Musgrave, with a sprained ankle, will be replaced by Pete Nelson. And Greg, as you look at a guy like Pete Nelson, he's coming into a contest that's very important for this club. How do you think he'll handle it? Well, he's a mature young man. He does have some playing time, and that's important. He has been on the field, and he has been working with the offensive team all week. And any time you have that going for you, I think that just adds a little bit of comfort and confidence to your situation. Now, they're going to have to protect him a little better than they protect Musgrave because he doesn't quite have the mobility, but he's a mature young man. The coaches have good confidences, as do, do the players have good confidence in him. So I think he's going to do fine. The key is just to get a little bit of game time under his belt. And obviously, a couple of other people will be under the gun, too. First of all, Mike Blake, the outstanding senior linebacker, has had his career cut short with some bleeding on the brain. Tests were done yesterday, and fortunately, uh, according to the doctor's report, everything is uh, better than uh, maybe you could expect in that situation. But unfortunately, Mike's playing career is over. He is expected to be in attendance for tonight's contest. Also, Gino Zahari, the redshirt freshman from South Eugene High School, his career unfortunately ended too with the your muscular uh, kind of a situation in the brain, and so his career is cut short. The Ducks also lose Joe. Reitzik, who was an outstanding wide receiver. He broke a thumb, so they're going to have to pick up the slack in a number of areas. They really are, and that's one of the things that's haunted Oregon in the past, having injuries to key people and not being able to have the other people to compensate for them and come in and do the job. But this, this Oregon team, I do think, has the depth, so I think the youngsters are looking forward to playing as much as you, know, you hate to see guys get hurt. And we're looking forward to bringing tonight's game to you. Stick with us. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a moment. You're listening to Oregon Football on the Oregon Sports Network. <laughs> 